Good morning, friends. It's uh, January 22nd, year of our Lord, 2017. Uh, I ran across a story uh, from the Catholic News Agency, which is a site that I would never normally go to, but it was on one of the other uh, prophecy news channels that I look to for headlines for this tidbits. And I almost passed this story over just because of what the, uh, the title was. After performing 6,000 exorcisms, this priest says the devil fears him. I almost passed that over. You know, it sounded, it sounded to me like the guy was saying, you know, I, you know, the devil's afraid of me. But when you read the article, that's not what it all is about. He gives all the glory to God. Not. I don't want to get into a big Catholic debate. I'm fully against the Catholic Church. It's a pagan church. But that doesn't mean I, I, I disagree with all the people associated with it. I'm sure that there are many that are in the Catholic Church that truly believe they're serving the Lord, and it's their desire to serve the Lord. But the Catholic Church itself has serious problems. You remember here just a short while back when Pope Francis said that uh, people shouldn't have a personal relationship with Christ. Well, you know, that's the, uh, that right there, that one statement should be enough to send people out of the Catholic Church because that personal relationship with Jesus Christ is what it's all about. None of these religions, none of these churches are gonna get you into heaven. It's Christ himself, through the, his grace and the shedding of his blood, that you're forgiven and will be held up as clean before the Father and accepted into the kingdom. Nothing else works. But anyway, on to this story. Uh, this priest, his name is Francisco Lopez Sedano, and he's an 80-year-old Mexican exorcist. In the past 40 years of service, he has conducted at least 6,000 exorcisms. And he says the devil is afraid of him. Okay, Lo Lopez told the newspaper, Hoy Los Angeles, uh, which is Los Angeles today, that when the devil speaks to him through possessed people, he responds, I am nobody, but I come from Christ, your Lord and God, and you leave right now. I command you in his name that you go. Out. So right there, you know, he's he's actually calling on the Lord. He's not doing it by his own power. And he's making that clear, even though the headline of this story made it sound different. Uh, this this story, like I said, it's at www.catholicnewsagency.com, and it's really worth a read because it goes into uh, to a lot of detail about the spiritual realm that we live in and explains a lot. Okay, one thing he said here is he emphasizes the devil is a person and not a thing. Which he noted that Jesus confronted the devil many times and spoke to him when speaking with the demon. One isn't talking to a thing, one is talking to a person. Which which is in effect true because it's, it's a spiritual being. It's not a flesh and bone and blood person, but it in effect is a person. The evil one, he added, wants to separate us from God, to frighten us, to threaten us, to make us tremble. He brings us laziness, fatigue, sleeplessness, distrust, desperation, hate, everything negative. Uh, secondly, Lopez noted the devil enters into a person because they allow him to do so. And that is true. We open up doorways. It says here, he can't enter us if we do not open doors. 
The priest said, because of this, God prohibits the practice of magic, superstition, witchcraft, sorcery, divination, consulting the dead spirits, and astrology. And uh, these are seven lands of lies and deceit. Now, just on a side note right here, if you, uh, if you look at the Catholic Church, they're doing a lot of this sort of thing. So that should send up a red flag. Okay, that the stars influence our life is the biggest lie. They are millions of kilometers away. They are bodies formed by metals and gases. How can they influence us? It's the same with magic, which attributes to objects a power that they don't have. To carry a horseshoe because it's going to give me good luck, it's a lie. Which, which is in itself true also. As for the story, I'll let you click the link. I'll leave a link below. I don't know if you want to read the rest of it. But there's a lot of truth in, in what he's saying right there as far as uh, the spiritual realm that's around us. We're constantly being attacked by spirits. And the farther you are away from it, the less you understand, the, the less that that seems real to you. Even, even a lot of Christians have uh, trouble understanding that. Christians that have been Christians for a long time that just haven't really matured in the, the spiritual sense. Even though they understand the Bible and what, what the Lord said and what it takes to be saved, they, they don't really understand that we're under constant spiritual battle in this realm that, that is unseen to the human eye. And it's by letting, letting these demons in See, see, the closer you get to the Lord, the harder Satan tries to bust through your armor and to turn you away from God. And when he can't do it one way, then he'll go another. I mean, he's just constantly going around you, tink, 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 trying to hit, hit you in your most vulnerable spot. And if, if he can't make you hate God, he'll turn around and make you hate your fellow man. And I've seen this with my own eyes countless times. He gets us at our weakest point. When that doesn't work, he finds another weak point. He attacks us there. Kind of an example would be, uh, you know, if, if a person in their heart believes totally in Christ, and the devil knows he can't get in between you and Christ, he, he can't shake your faith, then, then he'll start working in, in another way perhaps to make you hate your fellow man because he knows that Christ does not want you to hate your fellow man. And I see a lot of people bashing the Jews and going against them in this manner. And that's part of it right there. Yeah, the Jews, they, they rejected Christ. They put him on, you know, had the Romans put him on the cross. But yet at the same time, Christ forgave them from the cross. You got to remember that. God loves those people, even though right now they're lost. Even though they don't accept him, he still loves them. And he's, he's going to work it out in the end. That he's going to open their eyes and bring them back around. And if, if you're one of those that are against them right now, in, in effect, you're fighting against God. And if you're fighting against God, you're going to find yourself miserable because you, you, your spirit isn't going to allow that. I mean, you're going to strike out against these people thinking, you know, I'm doing the right thing because they're against my Lord. But at the same time, you're going to get hammered by the Lord, chastised. And you're not going to understand it if you don't understand how the spiritual realm is working. So you're getting it from both ends then. You're under spiritual attack and spiritual battle. And the way that the Lord is going to deal with that is he's going to step back and he's going to allow that evil to cast you down before he steps in and rescues you. The, fir uh, the quicker you turn to him and get over it, change your ways, then the least amount of pain you're gonna have to suffer. But one way or another, the Lord is gonna bring you around to his way of thinking, because that's what the Holy Spirit does for a living, you know? We're nothing. We see through a glass dimly. We don't understand what's going on, a lot of what's going on around us. So we have to be very careful. We have to try to try to look at the world as Christ did and as God does. And the only way we can do that is through understanding of his scriptures and through prayer. 
and ask him for his guidance. And this is all really, really important. And I mean, what I've said here today is just touching on it. And down below on my uh, on my channel page, I have a I have a few playlists down there. And you'll see some by Charles Lawson. He's he's a very very good teacher. And in that uh, playlist of playlists, there's one one playlist about spiritual. Uh, I forget the, exactly what, what I did name it, but it's about the spirit world. Perhaps that's even what I named it. But there are 12 videos in it. You'd be really, really doing yourself a favor to sit down and watch all 12 of those and try to get an understanding of how the spiritual world, the realm, works and how it attacks you and how it affects you on a daily basis. I'm going to cut this short now because this video is getting a little long. I just wanted to touch on this because this is really, really important, especially in these end times, that people get close to God and understand the fight that they're in. It's a, it's a spiritual fight. It's not a flesh and blood fight. If we turn it into a carnal fight, we're going to lose. There's, there's no way we can win that kind of battle. And spiritually, you can't win against Satan unless you have the Holy Spirit of Christ working through you. Christ will defeat Satan. You cannot. He's too powerful for you. He'll, he'll throw you in the dirt. Anyway, thank you, friends. Now, I'm going to close this video right here. Thanks for watching. This is Mark with Tidbits. One day I thought I'd settle down